Hello friends, my name is Ankush. In today's session, I am going to speak about how to set a Oracle environment on Windows Server. When we are working on the Linux or uh, HP server or AX server, there there is some different way to set the Oracle Home and Oracle SID. On Windows Server, we have some different method to set the Oracle Home and Oracle SID. Because on Linux Server, if you want to set the Oracle Home, basically you are using the .orenv command or maybe export command you are going to use on Linux Server. But this command is not going to useful when you are working on Windows platform. In today's session, we are going to see the same thing how to set the Oracle Home and Oracle SID in order to connect to the database because it is mandatory, it is necessary for us to set the environment to connect to the Oracle database. Let's see in a practical way. Okay, so I have already installed. the Oracle 12 C okay so what what I'm going to uh, what I'm saying here when I'm typing the command as SQL plus access debate it is directly going and checking and I'm getting the SQL prompt as well but when Oracle home is not set properly then there is a chances that we are going to we are connecting to the different database so that's what I'm going to show you here I'm checking the database name and database status from V dollar database the database name it is showing as a CDB and current it is up and running now the thing is I have already set the Oracle home and Oracle SID and even path also for this database that's why I am able to connect to the SQL plus directly I have already again there is another database reside on the same server the name of the database is NCDB so what I am going to do I am going to set the Oracle home Oracle SID and the path for this new database so that whenever I am typing the command like SQL plus as a SysDB it should connect to the NCDB database okay let me show you how we can set the Oracle home and Oracle SID I am clearing the screen set Oracle underscore home equals to so this is the Oracle home for the NCDB database you need to use the set command set and then oracle underscore home then I am going to use oracle underscore SID equals to the database name ncdb and at last we need to set path path should be oracle home slash bin Basically in bin directory itself we have our all the utilities like SQL plus RMAN anything whatever going you are going to fire like DBCA all those binaries or executable files are available inside the bin directory that's why whenever you are typing DBCA or SQL plus you are directly getting connected to the utility otherwise you will get the error message saying DBCA does not recognize like that now I'm going to connect to the SQL plus let's check to which database it is connecting see what is happening when I'm setting the Oracle home and Oracle SID for the NCDB database and path also 
I am directly getting connected to the NCDB database. Initially, I was getting the database name as CDB. Now I am getting the database name as NCDB. If I want to revert back, then let me show you. Before that, if you want to check what is the Oracle underscore SID, then you need to type the command like echo percentage oracle underscore sid see here it is showing as ncdb same way if you want to check the oracle home you can do the same thing see this is the oracle home again i am going to connect to the another database i am setting up the oracle home Oracle Home is same for both the databases. This is important now for this. I am connecting to the CDB database and at last I am setting the path slash bin because as I said earlier path should be Oracle Home slash bin. Then I am typing the command as SQL plus slash db let's check the database name now see here now i am able to connect to the cdb database so these are the three commands which are important to set the oracle home oracle sid and path in other term we called it as a environment to set the environment on windows platform we need to use the command as set so this is how we need to go for the oracle environment on windows platform if you have any queries you can write mail to me thank you so much for watching this video see you again bye bye